in video description have provided the link to download free practice model please subscribe to this channel hi friends in this video we are going to see how to create a dog house for the trim parts after creating the dog house we are going to do the power copy so we can pull the part into our trim part so first i am creating the sketch using axis system so in every video i used to tell we need to follow the working axis system procedure for creating the bar dog house is nothing but it is a feature used to increase the height of the future so above this dog house you can have the screw bars you can have the locator pin you can have the clip tower or snap depends upon your requirement you can have the dog house and also dog house is used for the safety purpose if there is any impact happened on this trim part if it required to break so in this scenario dog house will help to reduce the impact on the passenger so just i created one sketch if there is no dimension limit for your dog house according to your requirement you can create so whenever you are creating with axis system then it will be helpful for power copy make sure whatever the you created the profile for doggos it is clearing in tooling Um, I have created one rectangular profile. Just I am going to add some draft on the sides to clear in tooling direction. So neutral plane which I am creating it is my top profile. So if you see if there is any height constraint on the features there we can create the dog house so dog house is clear in tooling direction by the help of slider or lifter it depends upon the location i have created uploaded one more video for lifter clearance and slider clearance what is the minimum distance we need to maintain between the futures please check that video for have an idea on the lifter and slider directions so creating dagos it is not a big task just one rectangular part we need to create we need to do the shell operation so as i told earlier whenever we are
so this one we are doing core out operation and the bottom area of the dog house so that sink mark won't appear on the part it will have minimum thickness material in the area of dog house and part nominal thickness so for code out i used the same dog house profile For core out, we need to have minimum 3 mm height and draft we can give 0.5. We can do the core out in outer side or inner side of the dog house. It depends upon your requirement. So, in general, we used to give on inner side of the dog house. So, here I have added in the outer side of the dog house. So, in both the ways, we can create the core out. For the dog house. Just I am adding draft to the sides of the core of feature so whenever you are designing any feature in trims make sure your thickness you are not exceeding the nominal thickness value otherwise if you are create in the future by exceeding the nominal thickness it will have the sink mark in the area so during the mold flow analysis you may find the issue so in initial stage itself whenever you are creating the feature make sure you are maintaining the uniform wall thickness just i'm adding the graph automotive all the parts and trim parts all trim parts will have the doggos feature because if there is any attachment features if it directly with the baw height of the feature may vary it will have more depth so that in that scenario we will go for the doggos so in automotive doggos is a common feature for the trim parts if you check the automotive uh, playlist you can find a number of videos on the trim parts so this dog house we are going to implement our on our upper p pillar trim part So make sure you are maintaining the proper tree structure. It will helpful while you are editing the part later on. Or somebody newly working on your part for them also it will be helpful. So I am removing the material. So now you can see the core out on the inner profile of the doggos. So here the material values are on 
1.5 mm so fillet we are providing for the smooth flow of molten metal and also to reduce the stress on the corners of the future so fillets also may plays a major role in trim part for reducing the stress in the part there is any impact on this easily it will get break and it will reduce the major injury to the passenger this one we will see how to do the core out on the outer side of the dog house so as i told earlier we can do the core out option in and out in the dog house according to your requirement and your tooling feasibility so how to do in outer profile we will see just i'm creating the profile using the same feature how we created for the core out in inside just i'm using the same body to do it on the outside If you like this channel, please subscribe to this channel, share, add your comments. It will encourage me to post more videos on the automotive trends. So, if you learn to how to do the doghouse and how to create the power copy it will help in your interviews tool test to crack the interview so if you are not completely done the tool test part but if your approach is proper then 80 percent you will get clear the tool test because what are the part they are giving on the tool test it will be developed one or two days by the designers so if you are not completing also it is fine while doing the tool test part but make sure you are following the proper tree structure and procedure most of the interviewers will look into the tree if you are not able to complete the part also we may move to the second round for the technical so in interview point of view make sure you are always following the history of the part properly just i am adding the filler What I am going to create is like I will have two bodies one is core in and core in inside out um, core out and outside core out. I will activate and deactivate this body whenever it required I will do it whichever I want I can activate that body 
the same that goes Make sure whatever the profile you are creating, it is clearing on the slider direction. So, Y is our slider direction. So I have deactivated the core out done in inside and I have created the core out done in outer side. So this doggos I am going to pull into our B pillar upper bar for keeping the clip tower attachment onto it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel for more videos. In video description, I have provided the link to download free practice model. Please subscribe to this channel.